Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my playlist. And in this video, we are going to cover one to many relationship with Mongoose and Node.js. I mean, we are doing a read write operations to the MongoDB database, and here we are going to understand one to many relationship. Okay, how to manage these kind of relationship in the collection. In the previous video, we have covered one to one relationship. Okay, so what I will do is I will copy couple of things so here we are going to work on one to many folder here we'll just do some installation like mongoose and all so i will do npm init install mongoose npm install minus minus save mongoose i mean it's just like another folder but these are repetitive steps which we have already done so it's one to many and I will create models.js file and I will create one another file index.js where we are going to play with different models and this is our index.js file and I will copy the existing content we have which contains the code okay how to connect to the database and all I think this code we can reuse rest all we can dump okay so in this example what we are going to talk about is the multiple collections and we will see how we can do one to many relationship in those all collections okay so let's see this and we can talk about a simple example is let's say we have a category like a tutorial system you are uh, creating a, there is a collection tutorial which contains the author or it can be a blog Okay, on the blog you define the category of the blog you define the comments in the blog you define all the images the author of the blog the title of the blog and all okay so first of all we will create a category and then we will see what all different kind of relationship we can define id is fine rest all we can delete in the category we can have the name and the description like what is the category name it should be string and then we can have one more like categories if you are writing a tutorial on Node.js, Node.js, Express, MongoDB or something like that so label string okay so this is our category now we can have the comments because you are writing blog posts obviously there will be some comments from the users and we are trying to see how the structure is going to look like so here we have a username uh, the text inside the comment and created at let's say do we have something called date yes and text is string username is string and this is our comments and then we have another collection which we can create the name of the collection is images because in the blog post we can have multiple images and the properties is like uh, the path URL caption and all what is the path what is the URL caption okay these all are the attributes for the image now we have tutorials another model tutorial or blog whatever you can think of and inside blog we have multiple columns okay i looks like i created many i will delete couple of these okay uh, i do have a title author title author and then i have images so images is of type array because there are multiple images then i have references like comments now comments will be a reference here okay so i can just create this as a type mixed okay there is already a schema so comments right so it is going to represents comments and then i have category it is going to represent the category schema 
and then so comments category even author if you have a user collection the author can represent the, the user object id okay but these are array so you can select these because these are an array okay this is magically adding the array right so this is nice tool to actually create a structure and i will just mark it close so now you can see uh, i put the references this uh, this blog or the tutorial is a collection which is containing the array of references for category i think category is going to be a single category so we can remove the array from there so category is the category object id comments like you will be user will be multiple users will be putting the comments so comments is an array of object ids images no object id it is just an embedded document multiple images can be stored in the form of an array okay so we have comments images author title and all this is the blog now how can we store fetch the data which is being stored into multiple collections we will create single category we will create multiple comments we will create the images and then we will create a tutorial uh, uh, tutorial document inside this collection then we have to populate the comment object ids whatever the comment you have posed the images you have to push the new image without even removing the existing images and while you assign update delete category or add the category i mean single category you have to put the object id of category inside this blog collection i mean this is how we actually create the relationships here if you wanted to have you can also create another collection which is user because user is actually the author right so here we can have name email and something like something like this and this is going to have a relationship with the author so here we have author author will be of representing schema it's not an array okay close so now you can see author is representing user object user object id images is just an array of uh, collections array, array of some json objects comments is an array of comment ids category is a category object and how we are going to write the models that is also decided based on this like how we will define the block collection so block model we are going to write there we will say okay comments is nothing but an array of object ids of type comment okay category is a single object of category inside the block collection okay so this is just a definitions we don't need to show the relationships and all it's all managed through these references because we are storing the references and in the mongoose we can do dot populate because while i'm fetching the blog i can do dot populate comments dot populate category and all the referenced data will be fetched from there dot populate author okay so let's see that in the action let's see the code and we will see how it is being done so first of all we will create all the models for our collection so first we will try to create tutorial okay tutorial is important because tutorial contains all the things so here we can start creating category tutorials and all first let's create all the child collections const category equal to mongoose dot model and here we what we do is we create the model name and the schema which is okay new mongoose dot schema and here we specify what all columns what all fields it is going to have like let's say name is of type string description is of type string let's keep these only two and then we have comments comments is another collection i can just copy paste and create all these collections so these are called models which is going to represent a collection so here it is comment mongoose dot model and here we can specify okay comment is done by username text and this is created at is of type date 
uh, let's keep it so this is our comment so why it is showing errors goes dot model this is comment this is category I'm not sure it will go away okay. so we have comments we have category that was just uh, useless error then we have images so I have created a schema for the image also this is an embedded reference but we still have to create a collection so here we have a path we have a URL and we have caption is of type string and then created at which is of type date so we have const image and then we can think of tutorial so this is the last model okay in the tutorial we have title author and all these properties so in tutorial we are going to have uh, let's say I mean it can be tutorial or the blog it's a title author and then we have images which is going to be an array and then we have comments an array of object ids of type type uh, comment so here we will specify the type and here type is mongoose.schema.type.object id this will be the type and this is the reference the reference is here is comment this is the model name to which you are creating the association okay so this is our comment and then we have category and category is an object so here the type will again be the same mongoose.schema.type object id and the reference name of reference is category okay so this is how we are we have created all the collections and we can do export all these things module.exports we can export tutorial image comment category comments category image and we have tutorial okay all these things and now what we can do is we can just play around with these collections we have created so what we can do is we can import all these inside index.js so these are all collections we have images comments category and we'll move to index.js so this we got from models.js and here we are creating the database connection okay now what all things we can do first of all you can create independently a tutorial you can create images right all those operations we can simply perform okay so i will write some simple simple functions what we can do is we will start with simple is const create tutorial this is a simple function and in this function we are getting some data the tutorial and what we need to do is return here we are getting tutorial reference tutorial model instance we can just call create or save and you pass the tutorial object it is going to return the promise and it is going to return tutorial 
okay and we can return the tutorial that's it or uh, let's change the name document tutorial we are returning and we can simply say is console.log tutorial created so this is the first method which is creating tutorial now create image create image is we have one collection all right uh, let's use simple functions inside this function what do we have is so we wanted to add an image so how we are going to add we are going to add an image to a tutorial right so we need to use the tutorial id tutorial id and the image which you are going to add right so this is how this is the place where you need to understand how we can insert how we can update the data into multiple collections it okay, looks like the code is not getting updated on time and that is fine so here what we are doing is image this is the collection name dot create i am passing image object which i wanted to create dot then it will return the image document which has been created and then i can play with this okay there is a tutorial tutorial collection there also we need to so you are actually adding a new image to an existing tutorial right so here you can call these methods find by id and update this method you can call and what this method takes is your tutorial id and the the new image which you wanted to add image is an actually an array so it will be a little bit different so here this is the object we are passing so what we are doing is we are just doing a push onto this array of images which we have so inside images array just pass this document like this okay we have created a image and we are just inserting that inside a tutorial url document image dot url and caption document image dot caption that's it so what we did is we created an image and we also populated that image inside a tutorial and there is another argument which you can pass in this object is okay if this is not found then create new one so this object ends here looks like and here we can say is if you didn't find any record then create a new record with this okay this is create image now create comment similarly we can do create comment i will quickly do this create comment that is also we are going to associate with a tutorial id because comments the references of the comments are being stored inside tutorial so what we are doing is here we will create a comment comment dot create here we are passing comment and then once we receive a document that document we can pass in the comment so here first we have created a comment we got the document comment and here we are doing tutorial dot find by id and update passing the tutorial id this can be a little bit different here first of all why it is reporting okay now this is fine here we are doing create comment tutorial dot find by id and update update so we are passing tutorial id and because now we have already created a new comment right so how it is going to work is in this object we can just pass dollar push and you have to pass 
we have to pass the new id in the comments array right so what we have to do is document comment dot id so it will push it there so this is our first object and then the next thing we are doing is we can pass the same so this is create comment now create category is there create category is independent you create a category and you return that category category dot create some category you are passing and you will return that category once that is created document category category dot create you are passing category here that's it so we have category we have comments all, all those things are there now we can start creating the creating things so let's say first I create a tutorial okay so I can just simply say is const run equal to some async function and here I can say is first let's create a tutorial await and we can call this method create tutorial right it is returning a promise create tutorial and inside this you can pass an object okay what is the object title is something author is something right so once the tutorial is created we can start creating the images right first let's create a tutorial tutorial is done okay let's do it like this once tutorial is there we can create a image and how do we do that await create image I mean this is the concept simply what I'm trying to explain is you create a tutorial you create image and then you start embedding the ref references create image and in the image we are passing two argument right tutorial dot underscore id and your image object which contains okay there is a path there is a url there is a caption something like that right so this is the image is created now once image is there you will create a comment and for comment you will do the same thing so here we will call create comment I'm passing tutorial ID and all the attributes which you wanted to pass for the comment. Here you are passing tutorial dot ID and the object which you wanted to create as a comment. All these are type strings, so it will work. So we have created comment, we have created uh, category, we have created image. So we can also create a category and further we will just populate all those things inside tutorial create category and here you don't need to pass anything uh, it is simple okay how we are going to create category so we got category comments image tutorials right now what we can do is we can start adding tutorial to a category adding category to a tutorial adding image to a tutorial adding comments to a tutorial all those things operations we can perform right so there are methods which we can write let's say const uh, here we can So we have almost all the methods there is one method which we need to add is add tutorial to a category right like uh, when we have tutorial id and we have category id we have to popular push the category id into tutorial document right here we are doing find by id and update and we are passing tutorial id sorry category id in the tutorial collection so 
here we are creating tutorial then we are adding the image to tutorial here we are adding a comment to the tutorial and this method also we can call which is adding so here we got the category id and we can call this method which will just add category to the tutorial and it is taking tutorial id we need to pass two arguments tutorial id and category dot underscore id once this is done we should be able to actually have, we, we have created lot, lots of data now what we can do after this is we can start populating the information and how we can do this we can populate the lot of things like we, you can read the whole tutorial like I can create a simple function get all data and what does that a function will do is it is taking ideas input which is tutorial id so here I can do is return tutorial dot find by id find by id here you can pass the id and then here you can start populating the data so you can populate comments and you can do a chain of this you can populate something else like category you can I mean I have only two two things which are referenced here the comments and category and I can show that you can also fetch things by category okay let's say I wanted to fetch the tutorials by category so get tutorials in category so here I'm passing category ID return we populate all the categories populate all the comments this is how you can do this be based on category ID so the objective of this exercise is to explain how we can define our models and how we can persist and fetch the data here you can create independently comment independently category independently images and then you start adding those things based on category id based on tutorial id to the tutorial collection like images you will add comments which is which you are doing dollar push uh, the images you are doing dollar push it's like you created a tutorial now based on tutorial id you will do find by tutorial and update comments find by tutorial based on id and update category find by tutorial based on id and update comments update images this is how it is working so this is just a simple demo when you do it with the nodes yes you will get more idea how you manage the different models and how you purchase the data fetch the data from different collections